Welcome to another Business Spotlight, where we share insights, reflections, and pearls of wisdom from local business owners. My name is Kerry James. I'm a business coach and a facilitator. And on today's Business Spotlight, I'm delighted to welcome Mr. Mark Dent, co-founder of Knowles Green Creative Tasting. Good afternoon to you, Mark. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. <laughs> great to have great to have you on Business Spotlight. So let's get stuck straight in, if we may, please. Knowles Green Creative okay. Tasting, quite an intriguing name for a business mark so please do yep. give us a little bit of the history how long have you been in the business please and what do you specialize in yes uh so noble screen has been uh actually it's just three years three years november the 15th which we're just coming up to and uh we're located in bollington uh, we specialize in cheese and wine so the shop is is almost divided equally between uh, from a sales perspective of cheese and wine and i think uh myself i'm a bit of a wine expert my business partner dagmara is a cheese and wine expert and collectively we've made Knowles green i guess that answers that question yeah great so um what made you choose um bollington then as, as a location then mark ah good question um well we both we both of us live in, in Bullington, so uh, on different sides. So I live on the west side, I believe, and uh, she lives on the east side. Uh, and we both live in Bullington. We've worked together in the past. We've been friends for uh, several years. So um, for us to sort of do something, a project like this in Bullington sort of made sense, really. You know, the community is nice. It's very supportive. And we found a, a, a lovely little shop and it just sort of gelled. So, right. Yeah. So, so I'm guessing a pretty competitive area. Clearly, you've got the big supermarkets all about all, all selling cheeses and, and wine. So what was the inspiration for starting the business, please, Mark? And how how do you, um, you know, attract people away from the, the supermarkets into, into your shop, would you say? Sure. I, I think it's all about... It's all about uh, shopping local. It's about um, precision of product, you know, and, and expertise. You know, we can offer uh, a whole host of, of um, expertise that the supermarket necessarily can't, you know. The supermarket can be quite faceless, really, uh, to some extent, you know, whereas we, we have two faces here. And uh, those faces are uh, in, in combination work for the customer you know so it's more than just a shop it's also it's a show, social hub and it's a place where you can come you can enjoy you can get company you can get expert advice you know and that, that's i think that's our one of our sort of um uh, it's part of our ethos and it's it's um it's also our um our focus excellent okay so if we if we think about the last you mentioned you you started three years ago, it's been yeah. a, a challenging, yeah. interesting few years with, uh, of course, lockdown, yeah, and the whole interest rate, uh, inflation, digitalization, hybrid working, all of these uh, environmental trends and factors. How do you think those have impacted your industry and your business in particular? Well. We, I think we were really quite fortunate, really, when it came to lockdown. Um, we opened up, you know, pretty much when when lockdown was was in full swing, as such. It was um, the beauty for us was that it was um, we were described as essential, and so it gave people an opportunity to come to us as an essential shop. We became a, a we did. A, very much become a social hub so people were not allowed really in fairness to sort of wander too far from their home you know it was a case of daily exercise or or shopping and essentials so to come here uh, when we opened at that stage we were the essential shop and it gave people uh, all the local community that came to our shop uh, an opportunity to just sort of sit and chit chat and get to know us and and the, and the shop they used us as an excuse to to shop and uh, and that's built up our our rapport with with the the local community so uh, fortunately or unfortunately depending on how you look at it it was it worked to our advantage you know right 
so I, I love I love the fact that cheese and wine is classified as essential. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really yeah. approve of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, me too, me too. But uh, I mean, it goes beyond just the cheese and wine. There are other elements to the business, of course, but th those are the key focuses, you know. Okay. And but then, we we also have bread. Bread is is uh, very much essential, and uh, but yeah. Okay. Do you do you bake your bread on site then? No, no. We have a, a local baker. Uh, she was uh, uh, located in Bollington. She's she's actually had to to move to a slightly bigger premise, which is just outside of Bollington. But yeah, we get fresh bread uh, from Wednesday to Saturday uh, throughout the week, um, and it arrives, you know, nice and warm as soon as we open. So it's good. It's it's very good. Right. And just a little bit, what were you doing before? Were you in the retail, in, the, in that business before? Or what, what were you doing immediately prior to the shop opening then? Mark? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So myself, um, I've, I've worked in the wine industry for, for several years. Uh, I've been involved with wine over 30 years, but more, more um, focused on the wine industry for the last 25 years. My last position was, uh, or the last two positions have been sort of in a wine buying position. Dagmara, who, uh, as mentioned, is, is the co-founder. She's, she's um, worked in, um, in the cheese and dairy uh, industry. So she's, she's been a, a, a cheese maker, a butter, ma butter making champion. She also has worked with me previously uh, in a wine shop in Manchester, and she has her diploma in wine. So collectively, we're we're sort of uh, well positioned right. for wine and cheese. Champion buttermaker, hey, what well, fantastic! Yeah. So, yeah. What about aspirations for the business then, Mark? Where, where do you see the size and shape of uh, of Knowles Green going in in the next three to five years? Sure, sure, sure. That, that is quite interesting because we've just recently, in the last couple of months, had a refit. So we've we've turned from a very small shop to a, a, a slightly larger shop and we've extended our hours and we've become more of a, a, a cheese and wine shop with a, a, a wine bar um, a side to us. And um, I think we can both see the, the wine bar sort of element sort of being really successful and and sort of um uh turning into something that's uh, with it, having nurtured it a little bit it's it's really starting to blossom so i think for us the future lies with uh still the wine and cheese but sort of turning into more of a a wine bar and, and sort of a quite a lot maybe a larger larger shop in that sense so Perhaps it's a case of uh, larger premises, um, but certainly to sort of um, have the combination of those those three elements: the wine bar, the wine, the cheese, all sort of collective. I think I think that's really wh where we're looking at. At the moment, it's it's working well, and I think time will tell how 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 that progresses. Okay, so so given the, that um, kind of direction or those aspirations, and Mark, what, what what do you say? are the main challenges for your business today to start moving in those directions? Finding a site for sure. So, um, you know, when we're talking about Bollington, where we're at now, the, the sites that are here are very limited and, um, and most of them really are uh, quite small in, in right. essence. So finding a site that's a suitable site within a suitable community. So I think that's the biggest challenge for us um, other than financial sort of challenges, but the financial challenges hopefully will will come with with time. So, and uh, how have the you know the demand and supply? Uh, I'm imagining that is a reasonably challenging element in in the the, the cheese and wine business. Uh, what are the dynamics there, and and how have you know in terms of um, your expectations as to how quickly things would grow? You know, where are you with that and what sort of challenges do you have in relation to you know getting the right number of customers in getting the right customers in and 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 having enough throughput in 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 the business yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh it's quite a detailed question it's um for the customer from the customer point of view 
we're fortunate. Uh, Bullington is a very supportive community. Um, so having people sort of come here seems to be sort of a, a little easier than, than we uh, might anticipate. So we have a, a, a regular client base that sort of continues to sort of come and support us. Um, from a product perspective, product uh, is not really that much of a challenge to some extent. The, the products that we want to sort of get purchase and that focus on are, are easy for us, or relatively easy for us to to um, to uh, purchase and buy in and and sell. Um, I, I, I don't see I don't see that really too challenging. The, the, the biggest challenge I think is is just to maintain the, the, the level of service that we provide and and although I don't see that as a challenge but it's it's about having uh, an expectation that the customer wants and maintaining that and um, and driving that forward so I, I think that answers most of your question I'm not sure if I Yes, maybe I uh, answered too, asked too many questions at once there, uh, Mark. So apologies for that. So how would you how would you describe the perfect um, customer for you? Then is is the is, is the real kind of specialist enthusiast? Uh, uh, is that the type of profile you you look you're looking for, Mark? Or how how might you describe your ideal customer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it's a combination, really. Uh, I think uh, it's. The customers that we tend to get are, are uh, I think that are people that want to sort of, they may want to challenge themselves and try, try new things. They may be people that sort of are going out and sort of going on holidays and they're, they're going further afield and they're trying lots of, of different interesting things when, they, when they're on holiday. It might be that they're in a position where they can um, they can uh, experience. They're they're welcome to experience new new wines, new cheeses. It, it's someone that might have a a, a bit of a gastronomic flair. Um, I I think I, I think they're they're people that are tend to sort of go out and socialize, you know, and go out into the into the big city or you know or or go on holidays. And we, for us, it's sort of trying to bring the big city into the small little town, the, you know, and, and sort of bringing a, a little taste of that. So, um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't think we're taking people out of their comfort zone too far, if at all, you know, but it's, it's a case of just being able to find something inspirational, creative, you know, and, uh, and giving people the opportunity to be creative. I think that's that's where I am. Right. Okay. So you you you're clearly from a, a background of expertise within within wine. Uh, yeah. Mark. What, what would you say? You know, broadening out the discussion a little bit. What would you say are your main lessons or your top learnings from running a business as opposed to being a wine expert? <laughs> I think for me. Um, Some of the biggest things that I've learned as, as a personal, uh, from a personal point of view, is, is about uh, the involvement of social media and marketing and marketing the business effectively and getting to the right customer base. Uh, uh, I find that really fascinating and sort of, um, uh, and challenging at the same time, but uh, it's, I'm quite a, as an individual, I'm quite a, I see myself as quite artistic and quite creative. And so it gives me a chance to sort of use my creative flair and from a, a different point of view, you know, from a, from a different angle. Um, so I, that, that's been quite a, 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 an unexpected, I think, learning curve, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. And I enjoy it, which is quite nice, you know. And so, uh, which are the priority social media feeds that you use in um, in your business now, then, Mark? Well, I think Dagmar and I we both sort of share this responsibility, sort of fairly equally. You know, I think sometimes um, uh, we focus a lot on um, Instagram and uh, Facebook. I think those are our two main platforms. Uh, however. 
we're open to other other suggestions. We we as as we're just a small team, we don't we certainly don't want to stretch ourselves too far. But those are our our main social media platforms. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Well, well, it's been great to hear your your story, uh, Mark. I've I've got two two final questions for you, if if I may. Okay. The first one is. What is your favorite wine in the 10 to 15 pounds price range? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good question. It, there isn't really an answer to that, unfortunately. There is there is an answer, but it's the answer changes sort of daily and it changes weekly and it changes uh, sometimes from today, from today. Today's answer is good, Mark. Go for it. What, what would you choose today? <laughs> I think I think the thing is is that when you're talking about um, when you're talking about wine and you're talking about your favorite wines, um, I think that the the opportunity to sort of be quite open about that is 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 the way forward, really, rather than defining a uh, a single a single wine. I'd rather sort of encapsulate the whole the whole uh, the whole market. So I think that that's the beauty of wine. It's not necessarily to focus too much on on a wine. It's it's a, it's all about sort of expanding, expanding and 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 uh, trying different wines. So that that's that's really where I'd be. And, and um, is there is is there a new line or a new um, grape variety or, or or something that people are trying uh, of the moment, if you like? Is there, is there a new line that's selling particularly well or com a combination with a particular cheese or anything that that might be particularly interesting to, to viewers as in, in terms of understanding more about the combinations? I think the beauty of, of Noel's Green is that when they're coming here, they're getting an opportunity to get um, uh, expert advice and generally i think that the the consumer has an amount of knowledge whatever that you can however you define that they're coming they're coming with, to a to an environment which uh has has um they have the opportunity to to share with us their what what, what their requirements are and it's about sort of it's about sort of directing uh, to their exact requirement. So that could be food driven, it could be sort of in a social environment, whatever, but it's about really focusing on what their requirements are and how, how we can sort of deal with that. I don't think there's a single answer to that, unfortunately, but uh, it's, it's, it's about sort of dressing it that way. Yeah. Okay, I think I might need to come in and, and find my own answer to my own question there, Mark. I, I'm surprised you haven't been in already. Uh, so, so am I, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to sort that one out definitely so uh final question then uh mark we're, we're clearly uh you know we're coming up towards christmas just around the corner I, i'm guessing one of your busiest times of the year do you have any any offers or any announcements sure. or any invitations that you'd like to share with uh with, with people watching the business spotlight sure, 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 sure i think for us for us it's all um, hampers hampers tend to sort of uh be uh, king at this time of year mm. and we've just launched our we've just want, launched our website and uh we have uh we've given everyone the opportunity to to sort of go on to our website and uh there's an order form that people can look at and there's lots of images that people can look at and uh i think that's a good way of experiencing the whole sort of Noel's Green uh, philosophy, I think. I think Excellent. that's yeah. Okay, then, Mark. Well, we will uh, definitely include that URL with the with the video posts. Yeah. Uh, and once again, thanks ever so much for sharing your your background, uh, yeah. the details of uh, your journey, uh, and all the very best uh, with Noel's Green Creative uh, Tasting. Perfect. Thank you very much. All the best, Mark. Thanks for now. Yeah. Interview closed. Well then, Mark, thought that flowed very nicely. Uh -huh. Shall it? Can I leave you with that? That that little snippet. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's absolutely fine. 
Um, I'm going to come in. I, I'm going to come and see you. Definitely. Where? Don't ask me where we are. Come on. I, I, you, you, are you, are you but down op opposite the Tesco's. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so I, I do drive past there quite reasonably regularly. I've got a very good uh, golfing mate who lives um, opposite the Spinner's Arms. I do drive through. I mean, I've, I've uh, been at a client in uh, Macclesfield this morning, so I've driven past you this morning. So I'm definitely going to come in and see you because um, I, I like to get hampers for my clients, actually. So uh, I'm definitely going to come in and see you, Mark. Okay. I'm going to leave that, Sherry. I, I, I need to sort of crack on now with the... Uh uh no screen but um yeah but okay. I, I, I appreciate your time uh, um, I'll, I'll pop in and see you make sure that when you do come in i uh that you do make yourself known and say say hello and stuff yeah of course we'll do all right okay, then, Mark. okay. Uh, all the best I'll, I'll speak to you soon all right thanks buddy cheers bye-bye